Hello everyone. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I am the Black Shadow recording from a surprisingly chilly uh, living room here uh, in the depths of uh, Milk Keynes. It is surprisingly cold in here. Ooh, not pleasant. Anyways folks, uh, yes, yeah, so I welcome you back to uh, Let's Play um, uh, Final Fantasy X folks. Uh, um, this is the first, well, break I had since recording all the last videos in uh, one session, so uh, this is the very next day, mind you. Uh, I'm just getting a load of this recording done in one go, uh, while I've got uh, the time to do it, basically. Um, so I hope everyone is, is enjoying the videos. Um, so I've literally, at this point, I've literally just put up the very first video um, onto YouTube, folks. Uh, and not surprisingly, uh, as I somewhat expected, a uh, the uh, the content ID system is going to match uh, bits and pieces of the um, CGI to this game, which doesn't surprise me. Especially the opening sequence with like the uh, that we had. Yeah, again, I'm not surprised. You know, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. So never mind. Anyways, folks, uh, last time uh, we made our way uh, through the uh, the Killica forests. Uh, as we made our way to the temple, which uh, we need to uh, attend, obviously, with Yuna, to um, as part of our pilgrimage, and also we got want to come here with Walker uh, to uh, do a, a little bit of praying before we head on to Luca to uh, attend the um, Blitzball tournament there, which should be fun. Uh, I say we've just made our way to the Great Hall itself, uh, just getting ready to head inside to attend. Mr. Trials. The faith is below. Let's do it. The faith? But first, the Cloister of Trials. Kamari, Waka, ready? Strength, everyone. Hey! Nah. Hey, what gives? You're not a guardian yet. Oh, come on. Um, we'll be back as soon as we can, okay? Not this stuff again. <sighs> oh, sure. Soon. Like, tomorrow soon, I bet. <laughs> yeah, like last time. Really? We're gonna go through this mess again? You know what, folks? We could wait around and see uh, what happens. But... Sod the precepts. Where's Yuna? Uh-oh. Then why are you here? Hey, I'm not a guardian, so I'm not supposed to go in, right? Hmm, not a guardian, you say? Yes. Hey, wait! Hey, 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 wait, hey put me down! Put me down! That is illegal! Ah, what go. do you think you're doing? I do not take appreciate Get kindly out. to hey. be kidnapped. What's a big idea? Just a little game. Game? Huh? Uh-oh. This is bad. Really bad. <laughs> You're telling me? Uh-oh. We really shouldn't be down here. Oh, great. Um... I'm gonna tell you right now, folks. You ain't got much choice in the matter. Only guardians allowed, and I'm sure no guardian. Well, I guess it's too late now. <laughs> Once you break a rule, I suppose the first time, you kind of don't really care afterwards. But welcome to Kilika Temple. Now, hopefully, I'm going to do a better job in Kalika Temple than I actually went and did in Besaid. One can hope and pray. Right, so we have a uh, 
She's a, a sphere, a shuffle, a, you know what I'm talking about. A Kilika sphere is set here, folks. Yes. As he said, you know, each island has its own special sphere. Uh, the, uh, the Kilika has its own one. Burning nice and brightly in red. And what's its main job? To set things on fire. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, you know, we can't get past it, so what we need to do is take out the sphere. Which then actually removes the objective completely. Which is nice. That's yeah, so what we got here. So we've got a glyph spear in there. We've got a holder there. We've got a holder there. So we've got holders on all three sides. Get down here, see what happens. Can I push it? I don't think I can. No, not right now. Right, um, Ooh, you can push it. Right, let's see, I'm going to put it in here. Anything much? No? Okay, we'll take it back out. Clearly that's not the right thing to do. Well, this one. I have not actually looked these up. Um, I've, I've, I, I, I never got quite round to it, so shit, it's a little bit trial and error though. Sometimes I'm trying to figure out what it is exactly you actually need to do. Uh, let's see, you can you can push that though, so. See, you can push that. So, it's just to say, a bit of trial and error sometimes. And I just got to remember what the heck I'm doing. Because my mind has gone a little bit blank. Put that in here. I thought so. No, okay, then right. I'm, I'm being a little bit daft here, I think. Right, certainly not to do that there. In here? I'm being, I'm being daft, aren't I, folks? Right, so we can push that out. Okay, that's great. Shadow, shadow, shadow. What are you doing? Can I push this? Okay, so that one can't be pushed. I think I'm being daft. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Oh, I see. So, putting the... I get it now. So, putting the Kilikosphere into that burns the outline of a glyph onto the, uh, onto the thing. So, now you want to take out the, uh, the glyph sphere and put it in there, and it might actually interact with it. Oh. The cliff repels you! Rawr, I repel you, sir. Have you ever been repelled by a cliff before? Well, that's what it's like. Like I said, I didn't pick these up. Whoa, holy mouth of goodness. We need to get across this, folks. Um, good luck with that. Yeah, we need to extinguish the flames here. There's ways of doing this, so you can see how we've got uh, a variety of things. So we can take this out, if we want to. Doesn't really have much effect. Let's just activate this, folks. Uh, this will bring this uh, this thing into here. So it's a kind of a sphere set that, okay. Now I've got more. What goes where? I we need to we need to bring that that thing up there just so you know. So let's just put this down here. Can we get hold of the glyph spear. Let's try 
I put this in here, see if that does anything. Yes, it does. Hello. And doing that also takes out the fire. Now, inside here, folks, there is the destruction sphere. Now, unfortunately, when we were in Besaid Temple, I... I don't really know what came over me, folks, but, uh, I, you know, I, I'm sort of looking back for the videos I was talking about, and I suddenly realised I didn't actually get to do the sphere, uh, the destruction sphere, in the same temple, folks. Uh, like I say, and what it meant, I didn't miss too much. Um, basically, e every temple you've got destruction sphere to get hold of a special piece of treasure. Uh, doing that would have given me uh, a rod of wisdom for Yuna, which I think just increases her, uh, her magic ability by a little bit. Would have been nice to have. Uh, but I just kind of derped a bit and just completely not forgot. So what we need to do with that is we need to figure out where that needs to go. And then actually uh, take, you know, basically get it to wherever we need to go. Because as I say, at this point, you can now come up here and leave. And that's all well and good. But we want to get hold of the treasure. Especially this one. Because this is a really, really good piece of treasure, this. So... Let's take back our destruction sphere. And let's try and work out where this needs to go. I've got a half a hunch. I think it might have something to do with that one on the left, but I don't know off the top of my head. So let's just put this down to start with. Let's just to make some space. So let's move the Kirka Sphere out of there. We might have something to do with that. I, I cannot remember. Oh, hold on. No, I'm being daft here. I'm being dumb. Let's put that in there. Yeah, I'm being a bit idiotic here, folks. I actually, it's to do with the, it's to do with the, uh, the pedestal. I don't know why I'm thinking that. That's a bit daft. Right. Let's put this down here then. So the pedestal is now empty. Going back here, we'll grab hold of our destruction sphere. Lovely. And what we'll do with the destruction sphere is we will place it into the pedestal. Now with the pedestal, what we're going to do here is we're going to push it to where the little shining light is. There's a reason for this. I'm so hoping this is correct, because if not, I'm going to look an idiot. Oh. So I'm going to push it up here, because when you do... Well... A lot's happened right now, to be fair, actually. So, what we need to do is... Uh, I know what I've done. I'm getting ahead of myself slightly. Yeah, I get ahead of myself slightly. Right, let's put this back down. And let's get hold of our Kilika Sphere in here. Put that in here. Is, that Is it this? Yes. That causes the uh, pedestal to collapse. And you see, it reveals an extra little um, sphere holder. You, you see how we came down here? There was still this orange light here, folks, indicating there was something more to the temple than you realise. And like I say, what it shows is down here, there's another Kilika Sphere. What we want to do with the Kilika Sphere is we want to remove it. Then, well, we've said Kilika Sphere. We need to put this down, like that. Do just fine. Stay where you want, it doesn't really matter much. Come back here, grab hold of your destruction sphere. And then you want to put that into the hidden recess down here. That takes out the wall, and voila! Hidden treasure. 
And your reward for doing this is the red armlet. The red armlet being a piece of equipment for Kamari. He doesn't have any armor as it is anyways, but this is really nice. Fire, ice, and lightning wards. So 50% damage from fire, ice, and lightning attacks. At this stage of the game, that is really nice. Um, we will be keeping that with Kamari for quite a while. Believe me, it's worth some money as well, man. It really is. Um, oh, right, I've still actually got to leave. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, to leave, uh, we need to do the same way as we got in here. Get out of the Killer Sphere, set fire to the door, and then take it back out to destroy the, uh, the, uh, just destroy the door completely. But yeah, the treasures you get from here aren't too bad. So I'm annoyed I missed the Rod of Wisdom because it's quite useful. Um, it's nice to have. It's not, I'm not, it's not, it's not a disaster. I think it hurts. It's one of those things, unfortunately. I don't know if the game ever let me back to to go and get it. So we take out the door there, and that allows us to leave. You don't have to put the sphere down anywhere, folks. It just sort of disappears. We are going to be in so much trouble again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was Donna and that big muscle head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Don't blame me. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. Oh. Great job there, Thomas. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. Uh-huh. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo. <laughs> oh, that's what he said. Just wait. So what's in there anyway? The faith, remember? Yeah, that thing. Oh, yeah. That's that, right. yeah, that. <laughs> the faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls, willingly given from their still living bodies. Ooh, scary. Huh? Now they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so, what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin. <laughs> oh, give me a break, Lulu. Just wait. Give me a break. Yeah, don't bother trying to enter. Hey, don't work. Yeah. And you can try as many times as you like. <gasps> Won't work, so don't bother. What we need to do is try to leave. And upon doing that, Yuna makes her way out again like she's just been out on a night on the streets. What a reprobate, hey, folks. There was something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. Really? It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. He knows the song? I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. Hmm. Weird, there is a surprise amount yeah, of similarities, you know, with the the prayer and the you know, being the the blitzball sign, and now that song, hymny thing, crazy. Well, at any rate, folks, uh, completing the the Kilika Temple, visiting that, entrust us with Aeon number two. Oh, faithful Ifrit. Oh yeah, badassery at its finest. We're gonna have some fun with him. Don't you worry. <laughs> Thank you. 
sucks to be famous, eh? Well. Uh, game? Ah, right. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. Don't think it's quite that easy, though. <laughs> what is he doing? But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are, are you okay? I... <sighs> I don't know. What do you want to do? To scream real loud. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, holy mother of good grief. Where to wake up the neighbors? Right, well, as I say, so uh, with that done, folks, it is, we can now, well, we can now leave. Make our way over back to uh, Killica Village, folks, which means we're inevitably going to get dragged into more random fights on the way. So uh, I'm just going to go back there off screen because you don't need to see the random fight. So I'll meet you guys back in Killica Village, which, you know, just a walk away. I won't be. All right then, so uh, let's say so we're back here. So I've just got made my way back to the uh, the entrance of the uh, Killica Woods, folks. Uh, just think I had to quickly show you a couple things I've got hold of the Sphere Grid, uh, just to show you guys uh, some new abilities. Uh, I've got hold of this ability here, Focus for Lulu, uh, which I, uh, I believe it raises magic and uh, magic defense, something like that. Uh, I forget slightly what that does. I, I'm have to look at that one up again. Uh, Waka, I have finally got uh, to here uh, extractability, which we are going to grab hold of. I'm going to be using that plenty off screen. In fact, I might even quickly go off screen and do a couple more fights actually, and just get hold of uh, of some ability spheres because if we have actually run out, which is really bad. Uh, got uh, Kamari here has learnt Jinx, which lowers enemies' luck, which you know is great. Uh, Titus will be able to learn the haste ability. Except for the fact that, um, yeah, he's kind of, uh, we don't have any ability spheres, so I can't actually do that, which is annoying. Uh, so, yeah, so just show you guys that. So I'm going to quickly go, get, I'm going to do a couple more fights off screen, get hold of some ability spheres, um, and then we are going to get cracked on. So just, uh, just to update you, yeah, B26. Right, lovely, okay, so just went and got hold of a few ability spheres. And I have also gone back and uh, taught uh, Titus Haste, which is really, really good to have that. Really handy to have someone learn Haste, especially nice and early in the game as well. It's quite generous that it gives you it so early on. Uh, ah, hello. Hands off the merchandise! Uh, yeah. What do you think we are? Some kind of pirate? Alright then, folks, so uh, now at this point, we can actually go and, uh, well, we can get hold of some bits and pieces out if we want, get hold of some, uh, some, some items. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got, uh, the items there, not so much great. Uh, we got these, though, uh, HP plus 5% for all these. Uh, might as well get one for Lula, I don't see why not, Seeker's Bangle. She's not got anything else, um, on at the moment, so I don't see the problem. Uh, we'll sell some of these, because we don't need them. The long swords, yeah, 12 gil. Thanks, Jack. Get hold of all the stuff that we don't need. Uh, we don't need the bright ring. Get rid of that. Uh, the harpoon, we don't need that. The ball, we don't need that. Bangle, we don't need that. Look at that, red armlet. Three and a half thousand gil at this point. It is a seriously decent item, that, folks. It really is. Seriously good. Don't knock it. Don't knock it. I'll keep all the liquid steel for the water strike, just in case. Right then. Uh, I don't think there's much else to do here, so I believe we'll make our way back to the boat. Uh, yeah. Off to Luca at last. 
The match is start soon as we get there. So rest up on the way, yeah? Uh huh. There's uh, one of the killer teammates there. And his supporters and bits and pieces. Bye bye, little kid. Bye bye. Next stop, Luca. Oh, great. More goers. Yeah, get away from them. Get yourself a nice view. Have a chat or something. Do something civil. Always watching. Meanwhile, so we're down here, folks. I just want to sneak up behind them and beat them. I, I want to get their faces. Yeah, of course you do, Jasu. No, oh, relax, Dato. We'll be okay. Because you know that's just how it works. Um, I can give you half an idea. Ah, some herbs for uh, seasickness. Lovely. There's Abus there. Yeah. A couple of uh, the gals of the team. Balgurda. And uh, Doran. Yeah. Watch out for them. They're not a nice bunch. Not much else to do down here, though, folks. So, uh, well, we've got a chance to explore. Let's explore. Uh-oh. Some people can be so rude. Great. There, we're coming along as well. Oh, I am um, losing. It might not mean much, but good luck in the tournament. Thanks. Nice to know we've got your support. They ask a fortune for rags in Bisay and Kileka. Well, my business is in shambles. What's an Oaka to do? I ask ye. Yeah. You mind spotting me some gill again, lad? We want to do this as and when we can, folks. Uh, the idea of this here is is Oaka is, is busy. Uh, I don't think I really explained this too well. Um, I explained a bit better for you. The idea is Zawaka is trying to finance uh, a merchant trade, basically, folks. And later on in the game, he'll be able to start selling you some items. Some decent items as well, for that matter. Uh, what you can do here, though, folks, is say, that's how much he's got loaned for you. Now, depending on how much you loan Awaka will vary at the prices that he will charge you. Um, so much so that if you actually loan him a total of 10,000 gil or more, he'll actually reduce the prices of what he's selling to you, which is quite nice. Um, so for that matter, I'm going to help him out. Um, so 250. So let's round that. Let's give, make that around thousand. Yeah, let's make it around thousand. We haven't got too many opportunities to do this, mind you. So um, make it up to you. That I will. Just bear that in mind. We've only got a few opportunities before he starts actually opening his shop up. So uh, this is the second of to you. I think that about like four. I think. Uh, Thank you. You can still check his shop at the moment, mind you. And uh, the, the, the thing's all regular prices. So just bear that one in mind. Uh, yeah. I could sell the grenades. I don't, I'm not going to eat those for a while. Yeah. Not that desperate yet. I'll just do that. I'm not going to save the game right now. Head back down to the power room if you want. Yep, just the same. La, 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 She's still la, la, singing. La, la, la. Lu, 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 lu. Oh, shut your face. 
Uh, <laughs> crazy, eh? Um, so yeah, so that's the same down there. What we really want to do is head up to the deck. There's plenty for us to do here. First things first, head into the captain room. The reason for that is hiding on the floor is the fifth hour bed primer. Be sure to pick that one up. We're doing double duty on the watch to avoid ending up like the SS Licky. Report to us immediately if you si see any sign of sin. Yeah, this isn't the Licky, folks. This is the, the SS Winnow. You are a jerk. I will murder your family. that? What's wrong with you, man? Who knows? What y'all talking about? Who are you supposed to be? Right back at you, sir. Ah, I remember him. Guy from Kilika. Huh? You know, one of the Besaid Aurochs said something about winning the cup. Oh, right. You're that idiot. Don't call him that. Yeah, oh, he is an idiot. It. They don't got what it takes to win the cup. Well, they do now that I'm here. Yes, they will win. He used to be the star player of the Xanarchy. Oh Ace. God, no! Don't say that. What? Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, as if anyone lived in those ruins. It's not ruins. There's a big city there. There is. Oh, Yuna, you're making this more awkward than uh, it needs to be. I uh, got too close to sin and... <laughs> not this again. There is a city, really. Right, whatever your ladyship says. Good grief. Thanks for the assist, Yuna, but no thanks. Ah, uh, dear. What's wrong? You seemed kind of mad back there. They were being rude, and... I do believe your Xanarkind exists. I really do, you know? How come? Sir Jack used to always tell me stories. It'd be great to see your home someday. I'd love to go there. Yeah. You're not the only one. So, Yuna, want to come over to my place? Oh, good grief. Did he just say right. that? Sure. As if I had a place to show her. Yeah. See, he lives on a houseboat. I do believe your Xanarkind exists. I really do, you know? Well, did. Is there anything, Kamari? No. No, still grumpy. Okay, then. Yeah, you heard it. Hi! Ah, okay. So, that, so the, uh, the goers have all gone down to the cabin, so... Um, uh, maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to. Let me have a look around before we do anything, folks. Uh, right, now, that blitz ball there, I'm going to deal with in two seconds. There's a little mini-game for us to do on this ship, but I'm going to do... Actually, you know what, let's do it now. Now, this mini-game, you do not have to do. However, if you do manage to complete this... It is going to make your life in the next section of this game a so, so much easier if you want to be a victor. Is the game going to let me do it now? No? Oh, fine. I will go and talk with Walker and Co. first. And, oh, didn't know there was a set order to this. Get out of the way, you creep. Well, say something. You'll take responsibility. Relax, he's bound to know someone in Luca. And if not? He could always join a Blitz team. Anyhow, it's better than just leaving him in be saved. What? Just leaving him in Luca? What do you want me to do? 
Juno wants to make him a guardian. Oh, yeah, jeez. There's that too, eh? Uh-huh. And whose fault is that? Now, oh, come on! Not mine! It is mine, huh? <laughs> oh, dear. Harsh treatment. Why do you think she wants to make him a guardian anyway? Because he's Sir Jack's son. All oh, right. Wait, you sure about that? He's really Sir Jack's son. It's hard to say, but Yuna seems to believe so. Okay. 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 That's all you have to say? Well, yeah, I mean... He's got to decide for himself, yeah? Well, him and Yuna, I guess. You're right, for once. <laughs> <laughs> Walker gets it hard, I test? swear. Why don't you tell him he should? Should what? Become Yuna's guardian. Why me? Because Yuna can't. Why not? Why not? Yeah, that. He hates his father. What he was, what he did. Do you really think she can possibly say to him, I want you to be my guardian, like your father was to mine? Yeah. And you're being oversensitive. <sighs> Alright, alright. <laughs> I'll try talking to him after the tournament. Be discreet. I know. It's his decision. Gotta love the eavesdropping folks. I think that's... Oh, there is another one? He doesn't like his father. Apparently, he told Yuna as much. I forgot how many of these scenes there are. Hating your own father, huh? Sounds like a luxury to me. I don't even remember my parents. Can't say how I feel about him. I... I was five then, so I remember mine a little. Damn it! Hmm? Huh? Sin just takes everything away from us. Mm. Sin responsible for that too. There we go! Now all the cutscenes are over. Go to bed, bud. Tournament starts tomorrow morning. Yeah, we will do. Relax. I'm sorry. I need some time to think. And you just giving me the cold shoulder, lady. Someone's bound to recognize you when they see your moves out there, huh? Thanks. Can I now play around with this little mini game? I really hope I can. There we go. Now we can play around with this. Oh dear. Not so good. Oh, is that... Is that that kid again back there? What the heck? Well, well. Trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. You can't, can't do, do it, it kid. kid. But, but don't, don't worry, worry, my boy. boy. You're, You're not, not the, the only one. one. No, no one, one else can, can do it. it. I'm, I'm the best. best. Yep. He believes in himself, that's for damn sure. The Jet Shot Challenge. Memories of that day still haunt Titus and interfere with his concentration. Try to shake off the memories and successfully perform the Jet Shot. If you can complete this challenge, folks, you will be able to use this in the Blitz Tournament. 
it can make your life significantly easier. Uh, for example, when a memory appears in the upper left, press, no, top left, and press X at the same time. Or you can press up, bottom left, um, or just the X in the centre, folks. Let's try practicing a little. Press buttons following the on-screen instructions. So top right, left, X, center, bottom right. You get the idea. Now for the real thing. Show Jack what you can do. You can't. Uh, no one else. You can't. Uh, what you need to do is just press do, these no as come. No you, can't you know these little no condescending no comments. You can't as you can't many as you can. No although I believe the amount you actually need is a third is eleven. Uh, correct hits. And if you manage it, booyah! Huh. <laughs> the best? Yeah, right. Huh? Whoa, holy mother! Whoa, what's that called? Doesn't have a name. Yeah, anyone can do it if they try. Show us one more time, yeah? <laughs> oh, hello. You're watching along. Come on now, Titus. Extra pressure. <laughs> I'm so happy I got that first time. If you don't manage it, you can uh, come back on this ship and try again. But you only get one attempt each visit. Um, yeah, these guys got no chance. I knew it. I knew you were something special. Yeah, Dato. Dato could try, but he ain't gonna do it. <laughs> Woo! Blah. Splat. That was the jet shot. Was How it? the? Uh. How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. He, he called it the sublimely magnificent jet shot Mark Three. <laughs> huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. Hmm. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jack was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Does seem yes. like the same guy. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? <laughs> That's a good question. Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. <laughs> After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. <laughs> yeah. And your father's famous, too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Being uh, mm. Braska's daughter. Ain't it tough? It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, <laughs> that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Hi! Show me that move again. I, I'm trying to. Yo, 
I'm in the middle of a deep conversation here. I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was going to happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Great. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. Great. Reliability issues. Fantastic. We will save the game, folks. And that is also where I believe I'm probably going to bring an end to this video, folks. Next time on Let's Play uh, Final Fantasy X, folks. We're going to be arriving in Luca for the day for the Blitzball Tournament, folks. We have got some fun and games ahead of us, I can assure you. I'll catch you guys next time. Ta-ta for now.